goddamn Virginia City rock rhythm and blues you got the roots you got the the the, the rock the, the rhythm and blues um in a type of festival and rhythm that's and just it like we don't want to limit it to a specific mm -hmm. genre yeah. because yeah. it's not about a certain type of music it's about the musicians what i love about cw is that he is so he's got a lane that mm -hmm. nobody else has yeah and he's including people with him that fit in that lane mm -hmm. and no one else does that and because it is roots yes. and because they're original yes you know and these yes. all of these people including yourself and cw and athena who was just here you know you all separately have your own very unique styles and that's what makes you so lovable and so approachable and and that's what keeps people coming back to you but to put you all together, it's just, I don't know. We talked about genres earlier, and, and you can't really put a label on anybody. You can. Place. It's just not necessary. Back in the day, the radio stations would do Hank Williams and, and Little Richard back-to-back. Mm -hmm. -back. It wasn't, it was just music. Mm -hmm. Now it's, now it's so... Formulated. Yeah, so it, compartmentalized. Yes, you know, yes, like you yes. have to listen to rap. Yeah, or yeah, country yeah. or and, rock. And, yeah, and you don't have to do any of that because of the internet and your phone. You can do your own playlist, mm -hmm. and, and you can do rap and and classic country and and classical music. So you can you can play music in this area for a really long time. I have. Yeah. You've loved every minute of it, haven't you? <laughs> it, um, down to the second mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. Yeah, I gave up um, a good job that was stressful, good money, and laid off every every winter. And I didn't go back the next summer. I just decided I'm just going to play music. You know, I've known you for a long time, and I've never asked you how you got into playing music? School district. Okay. Washoe County School District. Um, fourth grade, started out as a trumpet player. Horn. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you still play horn? I still have a horn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> my, my, one of my, my bucket list, one of my goals is to um, get it like a tune-up mm -hmm. at a local shop and then just go to one of the open mics not bring my guitar, go to where no one knows me mm -hmm. and just bring my trumpet and just, I don't know, just do, uh -huh. um, and, but I got a woodshed for, you know, to, to really work at it because that was my first instrument. Oh, that's exciting. I did yeah. not know that yeah. about you. You got into guitar, obviously after that, when did you start playing guitar? Later. Yeah, at some um, point in your life. <laughs> yeah, I went from my uh, trumpet to flugelhorn to tuba to guitar. Okay. Uh, piano, drums. Yeah, you are a pretty amazing drummer and bass player. You kind of cover all the bases in a band. It keeps me working. Yeah. Yeah. I used to play ball, uh, softball, and I played first base, second base, third base, because I want to play. If you can play all the positions, you'll play all the time. So I took that philosophy to music. And if I, I I'm, I'm not the best, but I'm good enough. My grandma says, don't, don't you say you're a badass. Let other people say you're a badass. Mm -hmm. So, you're a badass. Okay, I will absolutely. Take, I will take that. And in the time that I've known you, one thing that I've always known about you is that you speak so clearly through your your music. Whether you're playing your original songs or if you're covering someone else's tune because you just like the feel of it, you're not just playing music. You're you're speaking to everyone around you. Mm -hmm. 
And I've always loved that about you. Thank you, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> to speak like this, yeah. I am uncomfortable. I am, I am, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But give me a purpose, put a song, put a guitar, or, or put an instrument in my hand, and there's a focus. Mm -hmm. I have a focus. I have a purpose. Just talking to someone, I ram I ramble on and on and blah, blah, blah. So music narrows it down and focuses it for me. And it makes it, I think, easier for you to say what you want to say. Yes, simplifies it. Yeah. Yeah, less talking, more rocking is... Yeah, because yeah. Canyon rocks. <laughs> Absolutely. So I've been told. You know, yes. one of the, the fun things, so when you play music um, at the cafe, uh, you like to stand outside on our porch and play, not just to the people that are eating food on the patio, but to the people that are walking by on the street or falling up or down the hill. And my favorite thing, and I'm always watching you, is when you're outside playing, you have a game that you play with yourself, right? I do. A, a drinking game. A drinking game. So what are the rules of your drinking game? Okay, there's two. Uh-huh. <laughs> They have the the trolley, uh -huh. the visitors, and they they give the the tour. And so as it as they drive by, if I can get someone on that tour bus to wave at me, uh -huh. then I get to drink. Okay. And also, right on the the street where you're at is a street. And and if I. If I see someone fall down the street, uh -huh. I drink. I get two drinks if I can see someone fall up the street. Oh, okay. I which didn't is, know that. <laughs> which is even it is even funnier because it because it of course gravity is going to make you fall down the street, yeah. but if you fall up the street, uh huh. So that's my drinking. You've game. been hanging out at the saloons a little too long, I think. Uh, here, if they're falling up the street, <laughs> well, they have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yes. So. You are going to be one of the songwriters featured um, at the Songwriter Showcase on May 29th here in Virginia City at Piper's Opera House. I am. And thank you for the invite. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Every time. So if you had one song to pick, the only song that you could pick to play, what song do you think it would be? Okay. It's so one of two. Mm -hmm. And... The one I'm not going to play <laughs> is, is a friend took my, Willie Nelson's girlfriend's girlfriend gave her one of my CDs and Willie Nelson listened to it and he said he likes it. Awesome. That's a compliment. Yes. Mm. He came out with a new album and that song is not on it. <laughs> I was hoping... Um, you know, it's not over for him yet. He can still uh, pick. The, that would be one. The other is uh, my my buddy, Stupid Maynard, is the hairdresser to Bette Midler. Okay. And this last week, he gave her one of my CDs and said, you need to record this song. So that's the one I'm going to do. If I could only 
find the words I'd put them in a song And sing it just for you Let the melody ring out Is what it's all about Lucky me to know lovely Lucky me to know lovely you And even though the words are few You put them with your special things With special love for what they mean Lucky me to know lovely If I could only find the words, I'd tell you face to face, but I'm afraid that words won't do. Touch me deeper than you'll know, seeped into my soul, lucky me to know lovely. Lucky me to know lovely you And even though the words are few You put them with your special things For special love for what they mean Lucky me to know lovely Lucky me to know lovely you Lucky me, lovely.